Hey, what's going on, Out of Tech? This is Martinez coming to you with another edition of Under the Hood. Today, we're gonna be talking about our car pusher. It's a very important piece of equipment in our shop, and it can also be a very dangerous piece of equipment. So we wanna make sure we handle it with respect, uh, don't play around with it, that kind of stuff. Now, a couple of features I wanna tell you right off the bat uh, with our pusher. I'm gonna step around this side. It is a, a motor-driven piece of equipment that uh, requires uh, voltage to operate and it has batteries which I'll show you in a minute but a real quick feature I want to show you is our charging cord you'll find it back here behind the handle as you can see there's a couple of hooks where we can store our cable and when we're not charging it we're gonna go ahead and just wrap this cable around here keep it from getting tangled up in the tires or getting damaged and it look kind of something like this when you're done. We just want to kind of want it safely out of the way. So a couple of the features I want to show you first are going to be how to turn the unit on, right? We said it was electric. So I want you to kind of focus in here on the switch. You can see there's a label on it that shows off and on. You'll simply turn the switch to the on position. Now it's a little hard to see now, but you'll see a light turn on, off, on. What you don't want to do is handle this switch very roughly because it will get loose it could break off and it doesn't take a lot of effort so again i'll demonstrate it off on you'll see those lights switch on and off there's also a direction control rocker switch as you can see right here i have it in the forward position again it's a plastic switch so you don't have to use a lot of force to use it uh, but you simply push the rocker switch to reverse if you want it to go back and forward if you want it to go forward now you saw me pull on this handle here this is the throttle lever and as you can see there's also a little pictogram right here that tells you when it's all the way forward it's stopped and you can see this little green grid here that increases as you pull the lever back the speed of the unit will also increase Okay, so the more you pull it, the faster it's gonna go. And you'll see the go, the little go symbol right there. Again, it is a 24 volt system. So if you feel like it's not working right, you wanna go ahead and charge it up. That's gonna be the first thing that you wanna think about. Now, I was talking about voltage, and this is a cover for the batteries. This is where the motor gets its power. This is a very powerful piece of equipment. It is actually rated to push 7,000 pounds. So it could easily push a full-size pickup truck with stuff in the bed. As you can imagine, if you're not careful with it, you could really do some damage with this. We don't wanna play around. And I'm, I'm gonna ask that we just not do like giving people a ride on it. You don't want to leave it unattended. If you're pushing a car, don't leave it behind. Always uh, be around the unit. So as you can see, there's two batteries in here. There's also a charger. When you plug this in back here, it's powering up a charger that will charge your batteries. So uh, we, there's a couple of cables here that we're not using. We just want to be sure they're out of the way. Close up the lid. And that's kind of some basic, uh, just things to know getting started. So another feature on this pusher that I want to bring your attention to is going to be right down here. This is called a hub locking pin. In the event you need to move this pusher a long distance, or maybe you, you're on the far side of the parking lot or behind the building and the battery goes dead, it's gonna be real hard to push this back into the shop. So what you'll do is grab a hold of this pin and you can see the movement on it. It'll, it'll release the hub from the drive motor. And there's a little cradle right here. You just kind of swing it around and place it onto the cradle. Once you do that, you'll see that it's a lot easier to push. It's kind of in a freewheel motion. So that will help, again, if your battery goes dead or you have a long distance to travel and you don't want to use your accelerator. Now, to disengage that, it is spring-loaded. All you'll do is pull the pin out, 
take it off of the cradle and when you engage the motor it'll lock in you'll see it lock in the pin will just drop into the hub and you'll have a power pusher again okay uh, and this is like kind of the business end of the power pusher this cushioned front pushing bracket as you can see it's kind of taking a little bit of damage and uh, we want to be real careful and place this pusher up against a hard bumper portion of the vehicle you don't want to push on a body panel you don't want to push on anything other than like a, a hard metal bumper we'll demonstrate that a little uh, farther down in the video and as you can see this bracket will pivot that's going to be important for when you're pushing a vehicle and it actually has to turn a little bit this bracket will twist along with it now you have the option of having it pivot or have it stationary just like there was a pin on the hub lock there's also a pin for the bracket as you can see right here we'll get you a little closer picture you pull this out and move it it'll slide and it'll it'll lock this bracket in place just like this so there's one of two options generally if you're going in a straight line you can have it locked in place if you're gonna do do any kind of turns which in this area we turn a lot because of the way the parking lot is set up you're gonna want to pull the pin out and release the bracket so we were talking about the front pushing bracket and the fact that it can be either uh, fixed or it could pivot so uh, the key to unlocking it is going to be underneath i have an assistant here joseph's going to help me out this is a good chance for us to do teamwork help each other out the important thing you want to do is know that you do not want to pull the handle uh, while we're doing any kind of adjustments on it okay um, another uh, uh, good idea that i'm going to recommend is make sure the unit's powered off uh, that way we don't accidentally uh, turn it on so this is a, the release handle the release pin for the pushing bracket as you can see when it's locked in the bracket will not move if we pull the pin out as you can see it can be a little tough just kind of put it off to the side and then your bracket will pivot to re-engage it put it into the hole you got a locked in bracket and you're ready for business okay so we're outside we're gonna do a live demonstration on how to use a vehicle pusher there's a few things that I want to uh, remind everyone about. Uh, first of all, we want to have a minimum of three people whenever we're moving a vehicle. Okay, one, we're going to have a driver. We're also going to have one, at least a minimum of one traffic control person. They're just kind of checking the perimeter, make sure that everything is clear. We don't have any students, any vehicles, any surprises that are going to jump out in front of us. If there is, he'll let us know so we can go ahead and stop and wait for the area to be clear another thing is the driver obviously we're gonna have to make sure the vehicle's in neutral so uh, the vehicle will roll also make sure that the park brake is released as well one thing that I want to make clear whenever we're moving a vehicle we only want one person inside of the vehicle and that's gonna be the driver there's not a need to have multiple people inside the vehicle going along for the ride it could just kind of turn into a little bit of a distraction we're trying to do this safely um, so let's just go ahead and uh, make sure everybody's good to go. Driver, are we ready to go? Sure. All right. Traffic control, got a thumbs up. We got our operators also a thumbs up. As you can see, he's got a nice contact on that rear bumper, kind of underneath on the hard metal part with the pushing bracket. And with everybody clear, we're going to go ahead and, and do a demonstration. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so uh, just a closing message. I want to thank our assistants for demonstrating. They did a great job of pushing this car so everybody could watch it in action. A couple of things I just want to remind everybody and keep you fresh. We want to handle this piece of equipment with a lot of respect, okay? Safety is important. No matter what piece of equipment we're using in the shop, 
uh, it could be dangerous remember this is rated for 7,000 pounds it could easily do some damage to a person or to some property uh, again just want to be sure that we're uh, using it safely again thanks to everybody for watching thanks to everybody for helping and we'll see you on the next edition of under the hood